Hey folks, uh, this lesson is divide with decimals. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that real quick. Here's MrMathBlog.com and we're in sixth grade. So we click this link right here and then you'll see that I'll load it right uh, below this one. So I'm going to load 1.8 and I think this one's 1 1.9. So it's going to go right below that guy right there. Okay. All right. 1.8 is coming up. So all right, so there's our common course strand for our teachers. And then our question is, how do we divide whole numbers and decimals by other decimals? So here, let's uh, connect and find quotients to discover a pattern. Okay, so what's 4 divided by 2? Well, hopefully you guys can say it's 2. What's 40 divided by 20? Well, two 20s give me a $40, so 40 divided by 20 is, is 2. 400 divided by 200 is 2. So when we multiply the dividend and the divisor by the same power, uh, see here we did times 10 times 10 and then here we did 40 times 10 is 400 200 or 20 times 10 is is 200 so when we multiply by powers of 10 the quotient is the same so we're going to use this fact to help us divide decimals okay so here we go Caleb rode his bike 66.5 miles in 3.5 hours if he rode at a constant speed, how far did he go in one hour? Okay, so we're going to divide, you guys. Since it took us three hours to do 66.5 miles, then uh, we're going to divide and uh, divide this into this. This will tell us how many for one hour right here, okay? So it's always good to estimate, you guys. So let's estimate by using compatible numbers. And So remember, compatible numbers are pairs of numbers that are easy to compute mentally. So 66 is uh, close to 60, and this is close to 3. 60 divided by 3 is going to be close to 20, you guys. So as long as we get an answer that's close to 20, then we should be good. All right, so here we go. So let's make the divisor and the uh, a whole number. Okay, so here's the divisor right here. And then this is the dividend right here. So to make this a whole number, we'll just uh, multiply this by 10 because 3.5 times 10 just mo uh, moves the decimal one place to the right. So it becomes 35. And similarly, uh, 66.5 times 10 means move the decimal to the right one place and it gets us 665. So what happens is if we move this decimal one place, then we move this decimal one place. Okay, and all we did was multiply both of them by 10. The divisor and the dividend. Okay, so now we're dividing 35 into 665. Okay, well, 35 times 1 is 35. If we did 35 times 2, it would give us 70, and 70 is too big to subtract from 66. Okay, so here's 35 times 1. All right, when we subtract, you guys, we get 31 right there. Slide that 5 down right there, and then 35 times, I know 35 times 10 is 350. 50, just add a zero to that. So let's try 35 times 9. 35 times 9 is 315. So let's let's put the 9 up there and then subtract 315 and we get zero right there. All right, let's answer the question. So Caleb rode his bike uh, 19, oh, this should be 19 miles in one hour. So that should say 19 miles right there, okay? So uh, why is this answer a reasonable answer? Well, it's reasonable because it became close to our estimate of 20 right there, okay? So this should say miles right there, but Caleb rode his uh, bike 19 miles in one hour. That's pretty good. All right, so divide 17.25 divided by 5.75, and let's uh, check, okay? So let's make the divisor a whole number. So we're going to make this a whole number by multiplying it by 100. That'll move it two places when we multiply by 100. So that means we're going to multiply both numbers by 100, and that'll move the decimal two places to the right. Okay, so now we're just going to divide 575 into 1,725. Okay, all right, so 575, let's estimate, you guys. I know uh, 1,725 is close to 1,800, and 575 is close to 600, so 18 divided by 6 is 3. So 1,800 divided by 600 is also 3. So as long as we get an answer close to 3. Okay, so here we did mul uh, multiplied 575 times 3. And look, it gave us 1,725. So that's going to be our answer right there, okay? So let's check our answer. So when we check our answer, we just got to insert the decimal, you guys. 5.75 times 3. It'll give us 1,725, but then we move the decimal back two places. So we move it back two places, and it gives us... Um, 
the dividend right there, which was 17.25. That's how we check our answer. So anyways, 17.25 divided by 5.75 equals 3. Okay, let's do the same and we'll divide 37.8 divided by uh, 0.14. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the divisor a whole number. And since we got to move this over two places, we're going to multiply this by 100 right here. Okay, so when we multiply uh, four, um, uh, 0.14 times 100 right there, it's going to give us 14. But if we multiply 0.14 times 100, we've got to multiply this dividend also by 100. So that's going to move this decimal over one, two places. So we're going to have an empty space right there. So that's going to give us, uh, put a zero in there. So we add a zero to the right of the dividend so we can move that decimal over two places. So if we moved it one place, it would be right there. So another place gives us this zero right there. Okay, so now let's divide, you guys. Let's divide 14 into 3,780. All right, 14 times 2 is 28. So when we subtract, we get 9. Slide the 8 down. 14 times um, uh, 7 is 98 right there. Okay, so when we subtract, we get uh, the, the zero. Don't forget, we got one more number to slide down. Even though it's zero, we still have to divide 14 into zero one more time. It goes in there zero times. So the answer is that 270 right there, okay? All right, so uh, how can we check that quotient right there? Well, what we can do is uh, we can multiply the quotient, which was 270, our answer is our quotient, by the divisor, 0.14, and when we do that, we should get 37.8, all right? All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense, and, and take care.